Hello everybody, uh, Crypto Exit Plan here. Jared, how you going? I just thought I'm going to tap in and make a little comment on what everyone is talking about right now and that is why is Workhorse crashing? Oh my goodness. Now, if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll see that I've sold on my workhorse and I've given my reasons for that. And that was before all of this, oh my God, workhorse is crashing. Now, I just want to kind of just give everyone a little bit of a reality check. Now, this is not financial advice and I'm not a professional analyst, nor am I a financial advisor or anything like that. But what I have done is learned from a wide selection of people that have been giving fundamentals on companies as well as technical analysis. So I am going to give you a very short but brief overview of the fundamental and technical reason why workhorse stock is crashing and the fact that it is not actually crashing. It is clearly retracing. So what have we got in front of us? We have got the workhorse group incorporated daily uh, daily candle price chart, right? And I've kept this simple. Um, I've got a 50 day moving average on there. I've got a 200 day moving average on there and I've got a trend line and I've got some volume bars along the bottom, right? So what's, what's going on here? Let's just, let's just keep it really simple. So back around the 2nd of June or the 1st of June until the 18th of June, there was a decent trend that was occurring. And so all I've done is drawn that into a long term trend and you can see that it goes all the way out there. Now, I'm no expert and I wasn't even following workhorse at the time, but I can make the assumption that around this time, people were starting to get interested in the stock. People knew about the work uh, the UPS contract and the possibility of that. And people knew about the potential of the company as a solid business. So the market responded in a certain way and they slowly accumulated the stock. Now, that that fire spread a little bit and what happened here it shot up well beyond that trend line right the volume clearly went a wall this is probably when all your youtubers and everyone started going nuts about the stock and how they're going to do this great thing in the ups contract blah 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 so fundamentals kind of really drove you know put the 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 speculative fundamentals of the company clearly drove this stock to the moon in a very short amount of time right then what happens? It comes back down and it sits in a sideways pattern. You know, well above its 50 day moving average in a sideways pattern kind of comes along here, taps the 50 day moving average and then goes up again. So that's the next wave. People are like FOMOing in. They think the UPS contract is inevitable. It's coming up. They're getting in and then it goes up quite high and then a bit of a retracement and people sell out. And then once again, they FOMO in and then it sells out. Now, what happened here? It really FOMO'd in, but then that was the day that, you know, we realized that the 15th of October, was it the, that on the, the 15th of October or whenever the UPS contract was meant to be announced 90 days after a certain period or blah, 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 you know, all speculative stuff, that it actually wasn't gonna happen and that the market actually realized and actually confirmed and it probably happened a lot back here on wall street is that they confirmed that the workhorse contract was not going to be announced until the end of the year or until before the end of the year so what have we been doing we've been retracing and where are we today we are very very close to this long-term trend line which was set in play nearly a year ago well more than a year ago definitely more than a year ago and so what have we got? We're probably just going to bounce off that and tickle along. But there's one question I've got to ask, and I'm going to draw one more line on here. And I'm going to draw a horizontal line. And because uh, we've got a lot of time spent in here. So $15. So the question is, do we come down and touch that line as previous resistance? Do we go under this line here and kind of bounce off that and flip this line as a support line into a resistance line and kind of bounce between our 15 and our 18 range? Or do we just bounce straight off that and keep on going up in this trajectory? Now, that's one thing that we got to watch out for. So the next week is going to be very, very important for Workhorse. So 
if you've never bought into Workhorse, it could be a great opportunity to buy. If you bought anywhere above 18, you've got a chance to dollar cost average down. And if you bought anywhere below 18, well, you know, you can just kind of sit on the sidelines and wait and see. And, and if it gets back towards your original buy price and you still want to get into the stock, then get into the stock. But like, like all the good fundamental analysis of work stock say, nothing's changed fundamentally. Still a good company long term. Like my previous video said, it's like Tesla in the beginning. It's going to go up and down and up and down. And people are naturally going to pull profits out of this stock because it's highly speculative and it's a perfect opportunity to swing trade. And that's what people are doing on a daily basis, on a weekly basis or whatever period you want to swing your trades on. So just keep an eye on it and keep it simple and don't get sucked into the hype. Like my video, the stock market's crashing or workhorse is crashing. Just understand that it is retracing, you know, start to learn the language of, of Wall Street and realize that this is a retracement. We've gone up a lot in, in a short amount of time, you know, in a year and a bit. And this is probably a normal price for that, this stock, you know, it's probably the market telling us what is a fair value uh, for Workhorse if it doesn't have the UPS contract, right? So there's probably going to be a different fair value when they win the UPS contract, but the market hasn't really figured that out yet. So, you know, we've got somewhere between the 15 and 18 mark. So, and I think if we kind of drew another trend line there, a horizontal one and kind of went at those resistance levels, just up there where those two candles bounced, um, somewhere in between this 15 and 19 is going to be our you know our range for the short term period i believe anyway so we'll see we'll see if it goes up and continues on the trend line or if it just goes sideways for a while until it finds a new a new pattern in the market but the other thing to remember is that this is not unique to workhorse workhorse is not the only one that is shaving the top of its massive and remarkable growth in the last 6 months a lot of companies are doing this so it's a general trend of growth stocks that um, they are, they've hit their, their short term tops and now they're retracing back to some somewhat more of a fair value, you know, opportunities to get in, hold, watch, wait and see, do what you like, but just don't get sucked into the hype. And, uh, you know, if you have bought above what it's gone down to, well, you know, you've got that opportunity. Do I sell out and buy back in a lower price or do I hold and just wait for the longer, longer term trend to play out? So, yeah, it's your call. Uh, I'd love to hear what you guys are doing, what you're thinking and um, thoughts on Workhorse. And like I say, this is just my prediction and um, what I'm seeing in the charts from a, you know, a fairly novice investor. But I, I do like to read the charts because that's that's what Wall Street, as well as the retail investors are saying. And they're saying that right now it's um, it's stepping back towards more of a fair value. And, and we've just got to find out where that's going to be in and around that 15 to 19 dollar range, you know, so love it, uh, like it, subscribe, you know, get involved, comment if, if you think this, this video is of some value and if it's interesting to you and um, see you on the next one. And remember, just have a plan, have, you know, my channel is called Crypto Exit Plan because, you know, I'm hedging some bets on crypto right now that I'm hoping to uh, take some profits at some point in time and use it to enact a plan. You know, what's your plan? What are you doing? Why are you investing? What's your purpose? Are you just did it for cash or are you in it to do something in the next step in the next step of your investing career? So stay profitable and stick to the plan and more importantly, have a plan. And please let me know what that is in the comments.